Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Jodi and Marie. All my friends call me Jojo and let's get right into this video. Guys, I'm super excited. I know every time I sit down to give you guys a video, I'm excited because I want to share this info with you guys. Guys, as we all know, it's been the Sephora saving sale, spring saving sale, I should be specific, because there's two of them a year. And I just want to show you all the goodies that I got from this year's sale. Um, I really got a lot of skincare and a lot of body care. I didn't get as much makeup um, as I have in my previous videos just because there hasn't been anything really new and exciting that I've loved that I've wanted to get. There is two items that I was not able to get because they were sold out and I'm going to let you know what those are because I'm definitely going to pick them up. So let's get right into the video. Guys, I have a bag and a box. In total, I spend, I'm just going to round up because I'm not remembering. At first, I spent like $260 and then I spent an additional like $85. So I spent, you know, a little penny on this Sephora saving sale, but that's okay. I'm a Rouge member, so I get 20% off. VIB members get 15 regular Sephora savings Members get 10% and 30% off of all Sephora products, Sephora collection products. Um, and it's a pretty great deal. I wish they would up it. Hopefully in, in the 2024 to 2025, they adjust the sales <laughs> um, percentage because of inflation. Rouge members should at least get 40 to 50% off because we are spending so much money throughout the year. You have to spend $1,000 to become a Rouge member. But anyways... Because I do get, if not all, most of my products um, when it comes to skincare, body care, and makeup from Sephora. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's get right into it. I mostly got skincare and body care, like I said, so I'm going to start off with that and end out with the makeup. So the first thing I want to grab is something that I've honestly should have gotten like three sales ago. The Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer. They give you a cute little Laneige spatula. I should have gotten this so long ago. I love this moisturizer. I got the sample of this like maybe a year or two. I want to say two years ago now and I've loved it and I just never made the plunge to get the actual moisturizer just because it does have things that could probably react with my skin but this underneath your makeup is amazing okay so i'm not saying i'll only use it on the makeup i might let's just see but i really wanted to get it it's a great moisturizer this is another product i'm super excited about this is probably one of the products that i was the most excited about because guys i'm i'm not gonna say i'm at that age but i'm finally getting into retinol and i got the pharmacy one percent vitamin a retinol serum firms fights wrinkles um combats free radicals carbon free dye free synthetic fragrance free mineral oil free and cruelty free it's an advanced one percent vitamin a retinol night serum that firms and targets the look at fine lines and deep wrinkles <laughs> with two potent retinoids fast acting retinol provides instant wrinkle fighting action while the encapsulated retinol delivers gradual release results overnight hydrating ceramides plus uncycled kalahari melon and raspberry seed oils restore moisture and minimize skin irritation promotes visibly firmer and more youthful looking skin and you just apply it one to three times per week every night on your face and use SPF in the AM, of course. Guys, if you're not using SPF in the morning, what are you doing? You're just going backwards. It feels so good. I'm super excited to finally put a retinol in my skincare routine. Because I do have deep lines in my foreheads, but that's not like wrinkles or any signs of aging. That's just what my forehead is all that's just what my forehead has always done, like, even since I was a child. But, instead of Botox, let's try this and see if it helps with that. That would be cool, right? Now for the body care portion, I've got the Topicals Ingrown Tonic, which is a tonic lotion. It kind of comes in like a little roller ball. Guys, this is the ultimate jackpot. That's what they have on the side of the box. I'm just kind of reading it through for you. Standout ingredients are salicylic acid, glycolic acid, 
niacinamide and zinc PCA. This softens and soothes and reduces discomfort caused by ingrown hairs. And in my opinion, it prevents ingrown hairs, guys. This is my third one of these. So trust me, I know. And you know a product is good when you're repurchasing it multiple times. And this is, it's a staple. I run now, I have to go get this, whether on sale or not. I was just lucky enough to run out of it this time while it was around the time of the sale. So I did get my 20% off. But guys, I love this. Like, I used to, before I started using this, I used to use the ingrown serum from the European Wax Center. And this is like a hundred times better. No diss to them because I still get my waxes there and I love the wax people there. But product wise, it's way better guys. If you got the ingrowns, get this, okay? You can't say I ain't never told you nothing. My next body care product is something completely new to me. So I'm gonna looking forward to trying it out. This is the Soft Services Buffing Bar Micro Crystal Exfoliator. It's fragrance free. It's for your body, of course. It's not for your face and they make that very specific on it. Um, it says soft services. This is a set of two physical exfoliant bricks made of fine sanding crystals and compressed within a moisturizing and soothing base. Good for keratosis pilaris, which is what people call strawberry skin or chicken skin. Um, on the backs of arms, thighs, hips. It's good for rough elbows, knees, heels and areas prone to ingrown hair. So it's also good for ingrowns, look at that. This is fragrance free and also sustainably made. And it's so crazy, this was made in New York. Wow, I just noticed that on the back. It was made in the USA, made in New York. From the pictures I saw on Instagram and the pictures that I saw on the Sephora website, it looks like it really works. And my legs will, will my legs will tell if it works or not. So very interested. Can't wait to start using this. I'm gonna start using this tomorrow, okay? And I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know if you wanna know how this product, these products work. This next product is from that same brand, Soft Services. This is a soothing solution calming gel exfoliator for your body. It has 10% AHAs. This is a clear spreadable gel containing alpha hydroxy acid. It dissolves the buildup of dead skin cells with, with a soothing ingredient that helps calm visible irritation. This is also good for, again, strawberry skin. It's good for rough and bumpy skin in your arms, legs, and hips. Um, it's good for discoloration of elbows, knees, and underarms, areas prone to ingrown hairs as well. This has 10% lactic acid and 5% urea. So it's not my first time using a product that has these ingredients. So I'm just hoping that this does better than products that I've used in the past. It says use on clean, dry skin. Before moisturizing, apply a thin layer. For best results, use once daily and protect skin from sun exposure. And guys, that's why on my channel I always talk about starting my skincare routine in the fall, winter, spring months when your body is more covered up because you know you would have to use less SPF on your body, which is more expensive to keep on by SPF to use on your whole body. And also it just you know helps with sun protection and actually making these products work really well and not you know having to have your skin exposed to the sun unlike you know late spring summer. This product does have a sunburn alert. This product contains AHAs that may increase your skin sensitivity to the sun, particularly the possibility of sunburn. Use sunscreen or wear protective clothing, right? Like I just said, and limit sun exposure while using this product and for a week afterwards. So I'll be using these two products probably up until June. Um, I would say maybe up until earlier mid-June. So that's like a month and a half, oh, kinda-ish two months. Um, Cause when it starts to get hot, honey, I, I'm gonna stop using it and I'm gonna pick it back up in the fall again in September. So let's see how much this can change my skin within the next month and a half. I'm really excited because, you know, I really bought it because of KP, seeing if it can really clear it up. I've been using several things to try to clear it up. Still hasn't worked. So let's see if this will be the thing that works for me. That would be great. But I will definitely let you guys know about this product as well. Time for makeup. I'm so excited. 
So, first things first. In the category of makeup, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Balm Serum Boosting Skin Tint. This is in the shade 13. I ordered this online. No, I picked this up in store, but I went into the store and they did not actually have shade 13 for me to swatch. So I've actually just swatched the shades around shade 13 to see if you know they would work. And I'm definitely not a 12 and 14 is too dark. So I got to be 13. I don't know what else it would be. And it feels very smooth. Oh, it feels really nice. Okay, I like that. And let's see how much product this actually comes with. Because this was like, I'm not sure how much it was off the top of my head. But I will put the prices of everything down below. But that's all the product that it got. And it's 0.63 ounces. I could definitely see myself wearing this. And I'm really excited to try it out in the coming summer months so the next thing i got is something again that i've wanted for the longest time this is from refi this is the lip sculpting um lip sculpt okay <laughs> i don't know why i can't say anything today and of course i got it in the deepest shade sapia sapia i hope hopefully i'm saying that right i wanted this i'm not gonna hold you i wanted this for the longest time I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think the original price is $26 for this. That's a decent amount of product, I guess. Like, I use my lip liners. I'm a lip liner queen. I cannot do a lip without lip liner. This has 0 0.01 fluid ounces. So it really doesn't have a lot. And I know it comes with another piece. Ugh. Oh, here you go. And it comes with this. Hmm. It smells a little funny, but I really don't know what this bottom part is for. Um, let's see if they say it on the box. No, they don't. It's just made in China. It says lip sculpts. I really don't know what the bottom part of it is for. I think it might be to like blend your lip liner out. So that could be cool because it does have this little clear liquid. Not sure what that is for, but yeah. Maybe it's like a lip balm type of thing. Hmm. I'm gonna figure that out. Next product is from this is the Makeup Forever Artist Sculpt Skin Fusing Buildable Intensity Sculpting Powder. So I bought this powder as a contour powder. Hear me right, as a contour, not a bronzer. I've been looking for the perfect contour for so long. They're just not making the right shade for brown skin, in my opinion. Everything is too red. Everything is basically a bronzer. They're not really making contour products anymore. Until I found this. And I was like, this is perfect. Okay, let me just show you. First of all, it's very small. Very tiny. Per it's perfect. It's that ash brown. That's going to give you that grayish undertone. That's going to, you know, really create the shadows on your face to contour so i love this can't wait to use it next is something else i'm so excited about i know i've talked shit in the past about nars and their cream blushes but powder nars is one of my favorite brands okay and they did not disappoint me with these blushes so i got the nars blush you already know the classic black and white nars packaging love that nars please put me on your pr list i love you guys so much <laughs> okay um again beautiful classic black and white packaging i got this in the shade dominant okay oh and it comes with a mirror that's so cute look at this beautiful pink look at this guys i could gag right now it's beautiful as fuck okay first of all i went into the store and i swatched this 
and I was like, oh, pigment as fuck, okay? I'm not gonna need to swivel my brush in this. I'm just gonna need to do a light tap. Light tap, okay? Very much light tap. Guys, she just wants to say hi. Say hi, Ginger. Cause she just wanted to be part of my video. She wouldn't stop scratching me. Okay, bye-bye. Guys, love, love, love this. And last but not least, I got another Patrick Ta lip gloss. So you already know this is the rich, oh, this is the rich pumping gloss by Patrick Ta. I got this in the shade Say Let Say Less. Oh my gosh. When it comes to makeup, I'm addicted to pink. Okay, do you see that? Beautiful. Okay. This is really tempting me because I was never a milky pink girl. Oh, look at that. Look at that. However, I saw this on another black creator and I was like, ooh, that looks good. And I actually want to put it on right now, so excuse me. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I had to wipe my lip gloss off. I know I can't be the only one that gets excited for lip gloss. Lip gloss, like lip products are probably my favorite makeup products. So let's just reline. Okay, now for the lip gloss. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, and I feel it tingling already, guys. But how do you like it? I like it. This is so freaking cute. I love it. This might be one of my go-to glosses. I'm not even gonna hold you. Look at that. All the OG makeup girls tap in. This reminds me of Mac Angel. That light white, like that light frosty pink. This is like Mac Angel in lip gloss form, plus plumping. This is for me. I can't stop looking at myself. I don't know if it's picking up as beautiful in, on camera as it is in person, but honey, if you love the signature, you know, dark lip liner with the really light, nude, light pink, this is the one this is the one also i do think that huda beauty has a color very similar to this and the new glosses she just put out but those were completely sold out and i get it it was 19 dollars. the girls sold that shit out so fast i couldn't get it but this one is also going very viral right now it's like you know what i fuck with patrick so let me just get it because i already got one so i kind of know what it's given but I feel like this is giving way more than the other one did. Oh my gosh. So that's it for all the products that I got from the Sephora saving sale. I know it seemed like it seemed like I didn't get a lot, but this is over over $300 worth of stuff from Sephora. And I love every single thing. Can't wait to try them. Hopefully they all work like they're intended to work. Um two of the main products that i really wanted to get but they're still i think one is not sold out anymore i think they're both back in stock i think they're both back in stock but i and that kind of pissed me off like during the sale there was all this stock i'm telling you the day <gasps> why got hiccups all of a sudden i'm sorry the day after the sale ended they was back in stock like nothing ever happened but the first thing that i really want is the new light powder from Path McGrath, the light pink powder. I really want it because I already have that same Path McGrath compact and I wanna try out that really light pink. Um, it's supposed to kind of offset, I think like gray and blue or something like that, but I can't wait to try that out. I'm definitely gonna pick it up. I really wanna go and get it before it sells, before it sells out again. 
it's a little penny, but it is super blurring. It does work. My Path Margaret powder is completely hit pan, so I definitely needed a new one anyways. And then she came out with this new shade, so I definitely want to try it out. I seen some people's comments on it, and they expected it to be like super pink. And I don't know why you would want to put a super bright pink powder under your eyes as a setting powder. I'm not sure where they're getting that from. I think because the Huda Beauty's powder is so much pinker. But I like that it's a very light pink because that means it's, you know, more neutral. It could work for more skin tones. Anyways, other than that product, the other product I also did not get was the Mario, the Makeup by Mario um, eyeshadow palette. Guys, I swatched that eyeshadow palette. It was sold out in store, of course, and online, but I swatched it and guys, pigmented? Yeah, it definitely got some pigment. And it's a really good size that you could use it to travel and then you'll have like a ton of different shades that you could use when you're traveling. Um, other than that, I did want to try out the Huda Beauty powder because everybody raves about it. Other than those two products, I also wanted to get the Costa Spray On Serum. But I really want the mini size just because I don't know how I'm going to like it. So I wanted to test it out in the mini size and the mini size was completely sold out. The full size is like a huge bottle for like 40 something dollars and I didn't want to commit to a spray on serum for 40 something dollars. So I'm waiting for the mini to go back um, in stock so I can buy that one. And yeah, I'll keep you up to date guys with all the products that I got. Um, I'll probably do a full makeup look with all the things that I got. Check out, if you don't see it in a YouTube video, check out my YouTube shorts. Or follow me on Instagram at Jodianne Marie. Um, it's always in the description box down below, guys. And I will be linking all of these products, all the shades, and I'll be linking all the prices. So if you guys want to pick them up now, I know this video is after the sale, but this is a haul. Um, not recommendations. Uh, if you really want to know what I recommend, maybe I'll make a recommendation video for the next sale or I'll just make a blank you know products that I recommend from Sephora that I love and I get the most use out of I should make that video because I buy a lot of products and I don't really get my money's worth out of every single product and so I'll definitely yeah make that video for you guys so you guys can see what I recommend you know so you don't just go in Sephora buying stuff because you see it's viral and it probably doesn't even work um, but yeah, guys, and thank you so much for joining me today and watching my video. I appreciate it. And I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.